Hey guys, welcome back to Wolfpack Football. Today we are going to be doing my second training skills video. Today we are going to be working on O line. This is pretty much my secondary position. And quick backstory on that. I didn't play O line much, but all the linebackers, we didn't really have an off offensive position. So the lineman coach would just, hey, come join us for the rest of the season. You know, that way if we need you, because we didn't have that many linemen, if we need you, you can go in. But let's get started. So first things first, proper three-point stance. So you're going to line up shoulder width. I prefer to take half a step out, just like I said in my linebacker video that you guys saw last week. So you're going to get set up like that. You're pretty much going to squat down, put your hand out. You can go on fingertips like that. I prefer to go on knuckles because I use gloves, and I don't want to get my gloves dirty. So I prefer to go on knuckles like that. You know, try to keep your feet as flat to the ground as you can. I do lift my heels up a little bit and then have your hand out like you're ready to hit, like this. Let me get a side angle of that, like this. So this is a side angle right there. D-line stance is a little bit different. I'll get into that later when I do work on some D-line stuff. But yeah, that wasn't the best um, training of an O-line stance because I, I didn't play it that much. There are better ones out there, so I'm not claiming that that was the best O-line stance training that you've ever seen. But yeah, so let's get started into our first drill. All right, guys, let's get started. And um, for this drill, I'm going to be using my Gorilla um, blocking pad. If you guys want to see a review of this, hit that like button below. And yeah, there should be a review coming of this soon, but just make sure you guys hit the like button because if you don't, no review. <coughs> no review. So pretty much what you're going to have is you're going to have, this requires two people. I don't have two people, so I'm just going to show you the best way I can. So you're going to have somebody hold it like this. This is going to, he's going to be your D line, all right? So they're going to get as low as they can. They can stand as high as they can. It doesn't matter. But what you're going to do is, so you're going to get in your three-point stance like I just told you. No, it wasn't proper three-point. But then you're going to get set. When that person says go, you're going to fire through. Make sure you throw your hands, like, straight up. Don't go back and then up, because that's just going to waste time. D-line is going to get a hold of you. They're going to drive you into the backfield. So what you want to do, you want to fire out of that stance, bring your hands up, follow through with your hips, bring your hips through. That way you get more power through with your hips. Just like swinging a baseball bat, you have to bring your hips around. You can't just swing with your arms. But yeah, so what you're going to do is so you're going to fire through, make stay close to the pad, drive them. Make sure that your steps are short and choppy, all right? You're never going to drive somebody taking big steps. You always want to take short, choppy, powerful steps. So drive them through like this for about five yards, then press them out and drive them a little bit farther. So that's the first drill. Hell of a Yeah, so that's the first drill. Let's get set up into the second drill. So basically this drill is going to work out a lot more of shooting your hands through and bringing your hips through. So I have my goal really pad again. Again, this probably should be set up a little bit higher. I probably could take it with some duct tape, but I'm on a time crunch right now. So this is as good as it's going to get. I'm going to try to hit it as high as, high as I can. So what you're going to do, so you're going to get set up like this, all right? Hands high, like you're ready to hit somebody. Then you can do this by yourself, or you can have somebody with you. If you do have somebody with you, that person's gonna say set. You're gonna fire your hands straight back. Like I said in the first drill, don't come back and forward. Yeah, you might get a harder hit out of that, but by that time, D-line's got their hands on your shoulder pads. So fire your hands, bring your hips through. So like that. And you're gonna do that a bunch of times over and over, okay? So that's a pretty simple drill that you can do by yourself using a blocky pad. If you don't have one, then get another person to set up with you in the same stance. Then just fire through, hit them. Obviously, you may not be able to hit them as hard as you can this pad because it's a person and people have feelings. So, yeah. I think I have one more drill that we can do. This isn't really a drill. This is just to work on, like, power stepping and stuff. But let's get started. All right, guys, so for this last and final drill, this is going to work on those power steps that I mentioned in the first drill. So, yeah, let's get started. I'm not sure if you guys can see me here, but I'm just going to hope you can. Leave a thumbs up if you can see me. So you're going to get set up in the proper alignment stance. You can do this with somebody or without somebody, all right? So you're going to set up your proper alignment stance. You can say set or somebody else will say set. When they say set, go up, stay low, okay? Shoot your hands through. Like you're grabbing onto somebody's shoulder pads and then just take monster steps. This is what my team called monster steps. So you'd be set up like this and then take those monster steps like that. And then when 
when you get to five yards, sprint off. I don't have room to sprint five yards right now. But when you hit get to five yards, so take your monster steps, five yards, and then sprint off. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the lineman thing. Another thing that you can work on that's just pretty obvious, working on your pulls, working on extending and keeping somebody close, working on um, your plays, so obviously that, working on your down blocking and stuff like that. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next week when I'm not sure what position skill we're going to do, but tomorrow you'll see my equipment review of probably the visor. I have a football visor that I reviewed. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys later.